Welcome back to the Tech Shack to another low quality video. Today we are taking a look at this NVIDIA P102. This one has the um, firmware unlocked to get all 10 gigabytes of VRAM unlocked. So this was essentially a mining card. Um, now this is not going to be one of the videos where I try and get it to be recognized as the 1080 Ti because that's essentially what this is. It's a mining version of a 1080 Ti and then try and game on it with another card used as the uh, monitor output. No, instead, this is going into my main server for AI, whether that's Olama, image generation, as well as video encoding. Now, when I first put that server together, I mentioned I had put a basic graphics card in the bottom slot because I planned on ordering one of these. The original one I ordered from China never came. I got my money back. But in the meantime, these guys here listed a whole bunch Um for sale on eBay, and they are actually really close to me, so it only took like two days to get here. However, like it looks like they did a decent job of cleaning it up, but if you look, there's like some patina, like some rust, corrosion, whatever you want to call it, on that heat sink. And then these heat pipes look pretty patinaed as well. So that's not a good sign, and I'm not like a stranger to mining cards. During the first mining crash, I bought a ton of RX 580s, during the last mining crash, I brought up a bunch of RX 5700 XTs and 5600 XTs. So my daughter's currently running, my nine-year-old daughter currently has an MSI 5600 XT I got um, from a miner that was closing down. So, so I'm no longer as optimistic as I was about this card when I first ordered it and first opened it up. But well, they seem to have a really good, um, they have a, I think 100% positive feedback, honestly. So... Hopefully they they tested it and everything works good. Uh, there's a spot that I saw when I first opened it off camera. Where is it? Yeah, right there. There's, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but right where that heat sink is, it's yeah. I don't want to open this up and then have something go wrong, and then it's because I opened it. So we're gonna run it first, see how. See if the server recognizes it, see what GPU Z says about it. Um, and then after I know it works and it does everything I need it to, then we'll take it apart and repaste it. All right, so let's get the green machine out up on the bench and get this card in. All right, so it was a very tight fit. But it's in there, so I have a Fire Pro W2100. I think this is AMD card. And then I have the NVIDIA P102 up here. Okay. Not even going to bother plugging it in there. I'm just going to put it back down where it was, boot it up, and remote into it and see what we get. It's been eight hours, and I'm on my second energy drink. But I finally got everything working. Okay, so the initial driver issue started when I tried to find the official driver for this card. Now, when I started this, I didn't care about hack drivers. With full 3D support, all I needed was CUDA, and I knew the mining drivers would offer me that. However, I don't know if NVIDIA asked them to or what, but every manufacturer from Gigabyte to Zotac removed their drivers for this card and now linked to NVIDIA's website where they don't have an official driver for it. Or original forum posts that link directly to the driver file are all now dead. I did find a forum post saying the P104 drivers will work, you just have to manually point device manager to the driver file. However, the newest P04 drivers I could find were from 2008, so I think that would make it CUDA 9 toolkit. I could tell Olama was using it because chatbot was working way faster, but I couldn't get NVEC or get the GPU to fully utilize, and the only way to monitor usage was with hardware monitor. Task Manager didn't show any GPU meters. So after more forum posts, GitHub projects, I was able to patch together a full-featured 566.03 driver. CUDA, NVEC, 3D rendering, even through remote desktop protocol and the NVIDIA control panel. Now Windows reports it as a 10 gigabyte 1070 and productivity software in the NVIDIA control panel shows it as a P102 10 gigabyte. And so no one ever has to go through this again. I am hosting the patch driver on my cloud storage. 
just extract the driver. It's an auto extractor. Run NVIDIA's installer, and you're good to go. The link to the eBay seller is in the description, and the link to the driver is in the description. But that's it for this low quality video. What can I say except you're welcome?